55th ACM is coming up on Wednesday night, hosted by Keith Urban, 8 o'clock on CBS3. And uh, it's going to be a great night. Grand Old Opry, Ryman, Bluebird, different year. Our coverage is brought to you by Ford and the Ford F-150. You guys are doing the Ryman, if I'm not mistaken. Is that correct? Is that you guys We're doing the Opry. Yeah. Oh, the Opry. Yeah, yeah. It okay. keeps getting changed around. It's, it's a lot of moving parts. We're just like, sure, we'll show up where you guys need us to. It'll be good. So, so many nominations this time. Uh, they've already given the one award out for video for, to Thomas Rapp, but you guys are nominated in three other categories. So many great things have happened in the last year. Um, I, I don't know where to put you guys now. Like, I, I just remember the first time you guys came in, I'm like, look at these dudes, man. These dudes are all right, man. I like these guys. <laughs> uh, and now like, I'm just like, these guys are superstars. Like, holy moly. Oh, man. Thank you for your support, man. You've been, uh, you were one of the first believers and that means the world. And, you know, you're Steelers fan, so we love that. Love, love to see, see that. Shut up. Wait, yeah. Shut up. Yeah. No, man, it's, uh, it's been an incredible country, ride, man. and we're so thankful for folks like you. E-S, Eagles. Hey. I think there's more of a rivalry between the Pens and the Flyers than there is Steelers yeah. and Eagles. You know what I mean? I feel like the Steelers and Eagles never make it far enough in the playoffs to play each other. Anyway, so. <laughs> But, uh, man, it's been been an incredible journey. journey. We're We're so so grateful grateful for everybody, you know, for Country Country Radio, for our fans, you know, continuing to support us. Mm -hmm. And getting to be here, it's been a a weird couple of months, you know, being off the road. But being busy again, having something on the calendar is is really good. So, and getting to see friends, like, you know, across the screen here or across the room, it's a little strange. Like, do we hit elbows or do we pound? What's the the vibe? So, I think the elbow is the, the thing now, the elbow. That's, yeah, that's, that's it. That's Just it. throwing bows. That's yes, thought, there yeah. you go. Throwing bows. <laughs> um, you guys have become more studio people in the last year, right? Is that a talent you guys had before? Because I remember you guys are your singers. You're trying to be, you know, make records. And then you've been, is it your bedroom where I see videos, Dan? Where like you're yeah, he's rocking. He's been doing, I feel like this was kind of the time where Dan could thrive because Dan's, Dan's always done our record. You know, he produced, you know, all of our albums and I, I've watched, you know, the evolution of him putting in all that work. He's an unbelievable. I can say that he's like, he's my favorite producer. In town, oh, probably the best producer. So sweet. But he is, uh, you know, this was kind of his time to shine because we couldn't use, you know, even, you know, studio musicians that we would have normally used. You know, there's so many talented guys in town. And uh, Dan was forced to have to do all that himself. But it worked out in a really great way and uh, ended up being exactly what the song needed. And, yeah, it's been kind of cool to see you, you know, even get better. I didn't know if it was possible, but he's gotten even better as a producer. So it was kind of a, a bright light in the in the darkness that's been this past few months. So I'm entertained, <laughs> staring at the screen all day. So you started out learning how to play the guitar in your bedroom, only to wind up back in your bedroom again being a producer. Exactly. Exactly. We were, we're trying to build like a little you know studio, so my wife doesn't have to hear like me playing drums and things super loud in the house all the time. It drives the dogs insane too. Or we'll be trying to record vocals. The dogs will be crying or scratching the door outside. I'm like, oh, I can hear funny. that in the microphone. So we're building like a little spot in the backyard, but it takes forever. It takes absolutely forever. So but. I should probably go to bed. Is that the the mix that you guys made on your own during quarantine? Is that the, it is, man. That's we, uh, we were just tinkering away and playing all the instruments. We did a lot. I mean, there's so many more vocal tracks than anything. There's more vocals than instruments. So we, we layered those up, and, uh, and this guy tracked about 128 vocals on that thing. It's like it's it's pretty layered up. So now we're going to – it's, it's like, like you, you don't, don't think, think about it when you're in the studio, studio and you have unlimited, you don't record the tape anymore. Everything's digital. It's like there's no limit on the tracks you can put on it. You don't right. think about we got to perform this live at some point. And now it's just the two of us on stage at the ACM. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, you guys have stripped it down a lot in the last year or so. And Shay, your, your vocals are better than ever. What do you do to keep your voice in shape? I mean. Well, thank you, man. Well, it's honestly, I mean, during this time, I haven't been doing – anything but being a dad at this point you know so it's it hasn't we're used to touring like a rock band so that's that definitely takes a toll on your voice this has been i think a nice rest for you know not only vocally and and uh and physically but you know kind of a rest of our minds and being able to really spend time with our families and kind of gather our our thoughts and kind of our feelings you know sometimes whenever you're touring so much we haven't really got to truly be thankful and really kind of enjoy the moments that we've got to have you know all these the awards, the, the sold out arenas, all these things, they happen so quickly that you're not able to really be like, man, that was, that was crazy and fully enjoy that moment. So Dan and I have really got to kind of reconnect. And as soon as we, you know, after quarantine, being able to get back together, we have a new appreciation for, you know, I think music and just each other in general of, of how thankful we are to have, 
you know, be able to do music with your best friend is, is a lot of fun. So very thankful well, for that. Well, you guys are the best and I'm, I'm glad I've known you for all this time. And every time I see great things happening for you, I go, I know them dudes. Oh, <laughs> you're the best, man. Abby's going to be jealous I got to talk to you. You're her favorite. <laughs> Tell her I said hello. And hello. Uh, you guys have fun on, on Wednesday night and good luck and keep doing what you're doing. You guys are really talking to the listeners and talking to the fans and keep trying to keep your finger on that pulse. Absolutely. Thank you, man. You're the best. All right. Peace. See you, brother. Dan and Shay on Philly's Country Station 92.5 XTU. Man.